evaluate the vector line integral over the curve C, where the two-dimensional vector field is defined by the components 3x squared, y squared, and 2x cubed times y minus 4, and C runs from the point 1, 2 to negative 1, 1. So let's recall that a vector line integral over a curve C for computation purposes is redefined as the integral from A to B of the parameterized vector field, vector f of rt, dotted with the tangent vector, dt. You could also use, or you can also check here, to see if your vector field, f, is conservative. And if it's conservative, we can find a potential function and apply the fundamental theorem of calculus. So here we want to look at the alternative, evaluating via a parametric description. So the first thing that we need to do is find that parametric description for the curve. So we want to find a parametric description of our curve C. And we are given that C runs from 1, 2, or from the point 1, 2 to the point negative 1, 1. So we have a line segment. And we are given the endpoints of this line segment. So let's define these points. I'm going to let x naught, y naught be the first point, 1, 2. And I'll let x sub 1, y sub 1 be negative 1, 1. And let's recall that given two points like this, the parametric equations of a line are as follows. So the parametric equations of a line are x component x of t is defined as x naught plus t multiplied by x sub 1 minus x naught. The y component y of t is defined here as y naught plus t multiplied by y sub 1 minus y naught. And this is for t values greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So this is what we'll use to find our parametric description. description. So plugging these in, I have x of t is going to be defined as 1 plus t multiplied by negative 1 minus 1, giving us 1 minus 2t for x. The y component of this parametric description is going to be 2 plus t multiplied by 1 minus 2, giving us 2 minus t. So therefore, we can parametrically describe this line segment c by the vector valued function r of t. with the components 1 minus 2t for x and 2 minus t for y. And this is for t values greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So now that we have our parametric description of our curve, we need to go ahead and parameterize the vector field and then find our tangent vector. So first things first, let's parameterize this vector field. And again, we are given this vector field f in terms of x and y, defined as 3x squared, y squared. And then our y component was 2x cubed, y minus 4. So we need to replace all of these x's and y's with the components we just found for c. So here we go. We have our vector f, and we're substituting vector r of t in. So the components will become 3 multiplied by 1 minus 2t squared multiplied by 2 minus t squared. And then we have 2 multiplied by 1 minus 2t cubed, 
multiplied by 2 minus t minus 4. So we got a little bit of calculations to do here. So I'm going to start with the, the f component here of our vector field. So taking this down, we have 3 multiplied by 1 minus 2t squared multiplied by 2 minus t squared. So we need to expand our two binomials here. So this is going to become 3 multiplied by 1 minus 4t plus 4t squared. And then our second binomial expands to 4 minus 4t plus t squared. And now we need to expand our two trinomials here. So we're going to take this first component and distribute it through to each piece. So this becomes, we'll keep 3 on the outside, that's 3 multiplied by, so distributing 1, I have 4 minus 4t plus t squared. And then distributing minus 4t through to each piece, this becomes, so we have minus 16t plus 16t squared minus 4t cubed. And then last but not least, we'll distribute this positive 4t squared through to each piece. So this will become plus 16t squared minus 16t cubed plus 4t to the fourth. And before we go ahead and distribute 3, let's see if we can combine any like terms here. So it's going to be 3 multiplied 4 is its own single constant. And cross that one out. Uh, looking for t values, we have minus 4t minus 16t. So that's going to become minus 20t. So next, looking at all the squares, we have t squared plus 16 squared plus 16 t squared. So it's going to be 33 t squared. So plus 33 t squared. Moving on to the cubics, we have minus 4 t cubed, minus 16 t cubed, so that's minus 20 t cubed, plus 4 t to the fourth. And last but not least here, we're going to go ahead and we'll distribute 3 through to each piece. And then we'll be finally simplified with the first component. So we have 12 minus 60 t plus 99t squared minus 60t cubed plus 12t to the fourth. So again, this is just the first component of our parameterized vector field. And we want to continue now doing the same thing for the second component. So here I have 2 multiplied by 1 minus 2t cubed multiplied by 2 minus t minus 4. So I'm going to start here by expanding the, the cubic binomial. So this is going to be 2 times 2 minus t to the front. And expanding that cubic, we are left with 1 minus 6t plus 12t squared minus 8t cubed. Don't forget that minus 4. And there I used the special factorization formula I thought about a minus b cubed, which expands to a cubed minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cubed. And remember, if you don't if you don't remember that special factorization formula, you can simply multiply that binomial out three times. So at this point, let's go ahead and we'll distribute 2 through to each term here. So this becomes, we'll have 2 multiplied by 2 minus 12t plus 24t squared minus 16t cubed. And now we want to do the same thing, distributing this minus t through to each term. And then we'll be able to combine our like terms here. So this becomes minus t plus 
6t squared minus 12t cubed plus 8t cubed, or excuse me, 8t to the fourth minus 4. So let's see if we can combine up any like terms within here. So we have our lonely constant 2, so it's going to be 2 multiplied by 2. And then single t terms, we have minus 12t minus t, giving us a minus 13t. Looking at our squares next, we have positive 24t squared plus 6t squared, giving us plus 30t squared. Moving on to the cubics, we have minus 16t cubed minus 12t cubed, which gives us a minus 28t cubed and plus 8t to the fourth minus 4. And now, last but not least, we'll distribute the 2 through and simplify. So this is going to leave us with distributing that 2 through. We'll have 4 minus 26t plus 60t squared minus 56t cubed plus 16t to the fourth minus 4. And those 4s cancel each other out, leaving us with minus 26t plus 60t squared minus 56t cubed plus 16t to the fourth. Phew! All right, so we officially have our parametrized vector field. Therefore, we can say that our vector f of the parameter r of t is defined by the components 12 minus 60t plus 99t squared minus 60t cubed plus 12t to the fourth as the first component. We want to make sure we give ourselves enough room. And so our next component we found to be minus 26t plus 60t squared minus 56t cubed plus 16t to the fourth. So this is done. And the last little bit of setup that we need is to find the tangent vector. So find the derivative of that parameterization, r prime of t and then compute the dot product. We just need the dot product for the integral, the line integral. So we'll be dotting the parameterized vector field and the tangent vector. So again, we're, we found our parameterization here to be 1 minus 2t, 2 minus t. So the tangent vector r prime of t is negative 2 minus 1. And then taking the dot product of the parametric description of the vector field with this tangent vector. So this is equal to negative 2 multiplied by 12 minus 60t plus 99 t squared minus 60t cubed plus 12t to the fourth. And then we're adding negative 1 multiplied by the second component, which is minus 26t plus 60t squared minus 56t cubed plus 16t to the fourth. So we just need to simplify, and then we're ready to integrate. So we'll distribute negative 2 through to each term with this first product here. And we'll do the same thing, distributing negative 1 through the second term. So this is leaving us with minus 24 plus 120t minus 198t squared plus 120t cubed minus 24t to the fourth. Just giving ourselves a little bit more room here. 
distributing negative 1 through, we have plus 26t minus 60t squared plus 56t cubed minus 16t to the fourth. So we'll only have one constant, that's that minus 24. Looking at our single t terms here, we have 120 plus 26t, so that gives us plus 146t. Now looking at our squared terms, we have minus 198t squared minus 60t squared, which leaves us with minus 258t squared. Looking at these cubic terms, we have 120t cubed plus 56t cubed, which gives us plus 176t cubed. And last but not least, we have our quartic term, so minus 24t to the fourth, minus 16t to the fourth gives us minus 40t to the fourth. All right, so this is the integrand, and we are ready to set up the line integral and evaluate. And this is a vector line integral. And evaluate. All right, so we were given to start, we had the line integral over C of the vector field dotted with the differential d vector r. For computation, we converted it to the equivalent form, the integral from A to B of the parameterized vector field, vector f of vector r of t, dotted with the tangent vector, which we just computed, dt. So plugging this in, we now have the vector line integral from 0 to t, of minus 24 plus 146 t minus 258 t squared plus 176 t cubed minus 40 t to the fourth dt. Whew. All right, so integrating, we just have the power rule here, so this is going to give us minus 24 t plus 73 t squared minus 86 t cubed plus 44 t to the fourth minus 8 t to the fifth to evaluate from 0 to 1. So fortunately our bounds are nice here. So when we plug in 1, this simply becomes negative 24 plus 73 minus 86 plus 44 minus 8. And then we substitute 0 and everything goes to 0. And when we combine up all of our like terms here, we are left with the beautiful final answer of negative 1. So this solution does match what we found using the fundamental theorem of line integrals. And so both ways are equivalent. You can get that answer the same way. But the fundamental theorem of line integral in this situation is going to be a little bit faster.